Okay, so here's a comparison of the uh, altitude uh, noise uh, between an APM-1 and an APM-2. So what I have here is, uh, well, I have a, an APM-1, which is connected to this mission planner, and then I have an APM-2, which is connected to this mission planner. Uh, and just to uh, bring the altitude back to zero, I will arm both of them. and then you will see okay so they're both at so now you can have a look and see how much each one of them moves around so this is the two and you can see it's it takes a little moment to settle um, after you've uh, reset it but um, okay so let's have a look at these two here you can see this one is moving around quite a bit right that it's moved about a third of a meter in, in 10 seconds you can see it's moving quite a bit whereas if you look at this guy here um, it's moving around just a few centimeters every every few seconds. So, uh, okay. So the reason um, the reason is basically that the uh, barometer is uh, is much noisier on the APM one. Um, it's a lower quality <coughs> lower quality barometer than on the um, APM two, and also the uh, the sample rate is much lower. So, um, you know, partially it's a limitation of the sensor, and, and partially it's a limitation of the way that the uh, the barometer is set up and the, and the, and the current code. Um, but uh, in any case, uh, the APM1 barometer is only sampled at uh, a little over 8 hertz, whereas the APM2 barometer we can um, sample at almost 80 hertz. Anyway, that means the the quality of the barometer data is completely different, uh, and and that is the basic cause of uh, the basic reason why the altitude is so much more stable on the um on the APM2 versus the APM1